everyone, I'm Desiree here with DTP Actions and Design and today I'm going to show you guys how to batch process so to speak with Lightroom. That was one of my biggest concerns whenever I added Lightroom into the mix of my editing um, was if I could batch process. And I've actually found that Lightroom is a little faster and more efficient as far as batch processing goes which is awesome. So I'm just going to show you guys really quickly how to do that today since I've had quite a few of you ask. So the main thing you want to do is make sure that you have multiple images that are in the same lighting situation. As you can see, these three images in a row here are taken pretty much in the same spot. So these would be great candidates for batch processing. And then I get to another photo and the lighting is a little different. It's close, but it's a little different. You can tell these are a, lot, a little more underexposed than the next images. So what you want to make sure you do is basically just make sure that the lighting is the same in the images that you want to batch process. Um, and what we're going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and apply the settings that I would like. So I'm working with the DTP Practical Lightroom Collection. And these are basically just a set of presets that are great for um, basic workflow, um, lighting issues, white balance, things of that nature. And it really helps speed up my, my editing. So what I'm going to do on this first image, since it's pretty underexposed, I'm going to come down here to Under Exposure Fix Strong. I'm just going to go ahead and click on that, and you guys can see a, a difference pretty quickly there. I'm also going to come up to Fill Light 11 and add just a little more light in there. It's pretty dark under that little pavilion that we were under. I'm also going to click on Sharpen and just sharpen the image there. And I'm going to hit Reduce Noise as well. I found for some reason this is a raw image, and it seems like raw images have a little more grain to them. So um, sometimes that's great, but I tend to reduce it just a little bit. Um, and you'll find that reduced noise is not super strong. It's just kind of just the right touch, especially on a raw image. Um, make it bold. I'm going to go ahead and click on that one as well, just for a little bit of a pop. Okay, so that looks pretty good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit Shift on my keyboard, and I'm just going to come over and select the images down here in my little timeline that I would like to batch process. So all four of these images were taken in the same lighting conditions. Now the cool thing about batch processing in Lightroom, and really you can do this in Photoshop too, but it's really slow if you do a ton of images, but um, I can come over here and go down 20 images or so if I wanted and batch process all these guys at one time. This is great for if you're working like a wedding or something and maybe you want to batch process all the ceremony photos that are in the same lighting condition, which would be really awesome and a huge time saver. So um, I'm just going to show you an example basically of these I don't know how many images these are, around a little over 10 maybe, 11, something like that. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to sync all these and batch process them and just, just so you can see how fast they are. Not all of these are in the same lighting conditions, but you'll just see how fast they are. So all I'm going to do is come up here, I'm going to hit sync, which is over here in, in my little um, develop module. And I'm just going to go ahead and have all these checked. Um, you could go through if you only wanted to sync certain things, like you maybe you just wanted to correct all the white balance on all these, you could only check the white balance box. And then it's only going to mess with your white balance on all of these images. But, um, you know, I've pretty much applied all the, the settings that I would want to. So I'm just going to have all these boxes checked just to make it easy for myself. And I'm just going to hit synchronize. And you'll see it working down there. All those now have already been fixed, just within like two seconds, which is awesome. So now I can just click through here, they're already adjusted, they're ready to go, ready to be exported into my folder for client viewing. Um, and, and I actually personally take these into, I export them into a folder and then open them up in Photoshop and, um, you know, apply some final touches and more artistic kind of things. But these are definitely good for base. And you can even tell actually, because there wasn't such a huge difference in between these lighting situations, that it actually still worked for this image as well. So that's kind of nice. Sometimes it gets a little tricky, um, but these were close enough that it didn't really mess with it too bad. So I hope that this helped you guys and that you'll feel a little more confident with batch processing in Lightroom and that you'll find that it really speeds up your workflow. Thank you so much.